In 2021, a video went viral claiming to show lightning striking a golf ball during a thunderstorm at a San Antonio, Texas driving range. Like many driving ranges, this one has a tall perimeter fence that ensures every ball stays inside the range. In the viral video, the heavy rain falling at the time makes the fence hard to see, but it's clear the lightning in the video struck the top of the fence, not the golf ball. A cloud-to-ground lightning strike happens between the cloud and the ground, or a grounded object. Lightning can strike objects suspended in midair, but it won't just terminate on the object, it will simply pass through it and continue down to the ground. This is what happens when airplanes are struck by lightning. There are always lightning channels coming from two spots on the plane, one going up into the clouds, the other going down to the ground. The plane just becomes a part of the long path the lightning is using to reach the ground. But can this happen to a golf ball? Technically, yes, but it would be an almost impossible feat. Lightning is a massive electrical discharge many miles in length, generated by storms many miles high. Objects like golf balls or even clubs and umbrellas are just too small to influence a lightning bolt's chosen path to the ground. Here's a shot of a bolt I witnessed striking the ground next to a tall metal light pole in a parking lot. That means that the only way a golf ball could be struck is if one were launched right into the exact path a lightning channel was already going to occur at the exact moment the bolt happened. A bit like the DeLorean in Back to the Future. Is this what happened in the viral video? There's no evidence to suggest that it did. Again, we know the lightning bolt struck the perimeter fence because the channel terminates at a higher elevation than ground level. If the bolt hit the ball inside of the perimeter fence, the channel would have continued down to the ground and it would have looked something like this. For the golf ball to have been struck, it would have had to have been launched over the top of the fence at the exact moment and location of the lightning bolt. If that one in a billion scenario had actually happened, the ball, or what was left of it, would have ended up outside of the perimeter fence, not inside. So what about the ball of light at the base of the lightning channel in the viral video? This is a common feature seen at the point lightning strikes the ground or a tall object. Here are a couple examples I've caught on video. It's worth mentioning one more relevant note about lightning safety. Even though golf clubs can't influence a lightning strike at a distance of more than a few feet away, it's always risky to be outside during a thunderstorm, period. The danger is simply being outside where lightning can strike, so just head inside or for your car whenever lightning threatens. Remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. This has been Dan Robinson for StormHighway.com. Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for more lightning facts, myths, slow motion videos, and more.